Welcome back to Phasmophobia. Let's do this. Ooh, that was a little choppy. Ooh. That was bizarre. Maybe I have a few too many things open in the background. I guess we're going to see how it's going to affect today. Uh, let's see. We're going to do another single player, mainly because it's already basically about 10 p.m. where I am. So this is going to be terrifying enough. To add to that, I think we're going to try to do those two farmhouses. So, oh, I've actually got quite a lot of money. I think I need to level up before I can actually get anything else. Uh, I don't actually remember what I need to do to do this stuff. Well, there we go. Level 19 before I get a slightly better flashlight. Oh, that button was overkill. Uh, let me pop over here. I guess we also have prison and maple lodge. Have I done anything on Willow Street? I'm going to stick to what I said. We're going to do one of these. We're going to start off with Bleasdale. Uh, let's see here. Uh, there's the button I need for that. Yep, I think this is all already set. And it's all already in there. I don't need more than one photo camera. I pretty much just need one piece of every piece of equipment I have. I'm still level 6. We're going to see if we can't uh, improve that at least a couple levels today. Or I guess tonight. <laughs> Great. Sounds like it's raining. No, I thought up there it goes. Responds to people who are alone. I'm almost certain at this point it just says that every time somebody goes in the single player. Because I don't think I've had it say anything else yet. Daily task. Discover the ghost type. I think that is consistent. Play with another investigator. I might try that next time. We'll see. Capture a three-star ghost photo. I might be able to achieve that one. And play contracts. Isn't that what I'm doing now? I'm not up to date with the lingo. Have a member of your team witness a ghost event. That should be easy. Detect a ghost presence with a motion sensor. I can't do that. I haven't unlocked those yet. Get an average sanity below 25%. I would rather not do that. So, we're going to start off with flashlight, light stick, and... I think we're... This will help me locate the room quicker. <laughs> So many of these controls are similar to Lethal Company, and so many are not. Let's do this. And I'm out of breath already. This guy's disappointing. There's that. There's that. Uh, let's go ahead and switch this on. I think I'm already hearing stuff. I don't think there's anything in here. Last time I did this farmhouse, the ghost was in here, I think. Would be pretty terrible if he's all the way in the back, though, because that's a long... Oh, no, wait, there's a door right there. It wouldn't be terrible at all. All right, I need to hurry this up. I still have to go get other equipment and bring it in. Nothing? Gonna drop that stuff. I'm gonna go grab the thermometer and the video camera. Forgot the thermometer is what I need to find the ghost trim the quickest. And it's holding pretty steady at seven degrees. That should help me unless it warms up quickly when I enter the house. Starts warming up. Still warming up. It's up to 10 now. Up to 15. It is possible this is one of those ghosts that doesn't get cold at all. And the temperature only drops down to like 19 degrees. That would be unfortunate. 
though. I should be able to tell right now. Let's get up these stairs. It's an upstairs ghost. It's going to be a little bit unfortunate. I'm also pretty sure I'm down to maybe a few minutes. Not an upstairs bathroom ghost. Not an upstairs laundry room ghost. Is it bedroom? Yes, it is. And it's the bedroom I care about. I don't even... So far, no orbs. Let's see if that takes the ghost off. What was that? Why is it dark all of a sudden? Or is that just my TV? That might have just been my TV. I think we're going to try to drop this stuff in here. Going to go down and try to get some more stuff. Oh yeah, that is my monitor. Uh, I, hope, I don't think that effect will come across. Basically, it has a dynamic backlight. So when there's a sudden shift from light to dark, everything gets really dark and then the backlight kicks on. I still got about a minute and a half. This is not a very active ghost. Let's grab these two and get in there. I should have left the flashlight. Should have left the flashlight both times. Let's try to get a spirit box response. Might as well turn this on too. Hello? Are you there? How old are you? Are you friendly? Where are you? Hello? Are you here? How old are you? Are you friendly? So far, I don't think there's anything there on that one. Temperature is above freezing, so it's not going to be it. There's that. I'm going to go try to grab the... I think the video camera was on the floor. I'm also pretty sure that's the end of my grace period. Yeah, 12 seconds. Okay, let's look at what we got. It did not get down to freezing. Uh, there were basically no spirit box, definitely no orbs. So, Gorio or Myling, I'd either need ghost writing or dots. All right, let's look at Gorio. I can find him. I swear I'm not blind. That's on Rio. There's Gorio. When a Gorio passes through a dots projector using a video camera is the only way to see it. Uh, a Gorio will usually only show itself on camera if there are no people nearby. That's interesting. Uh, they are rarely seen far from their place of death, so it sounds like they shouldn't move their ghost room very much. The other one was Myline. Myline is a very vocal and active ghost that does not seem to be what we've had so far. They are rumored to be quiet when hunting their prey. A Myline is known to be quieter when hunting. Mylines more frequently make paranormal sounds. So it sounds like the evidence I should have so far is EMF, ultraviolet, and dots. And I'm kind of already leaning towards it being a Gorio based on what it's the description of a Myling being an active ghost. Take a look at this for a second. I should have had that pin up there to get those dots. I might try to run up there here in a second because I still need to witness a ghost event. Hasn't tried to do anything with the light yet. I think I'm going to try to get up there with that pin and I will also turn off the light to make it easier for me to see anything that does happen and grab both of these two
shouldn't be any difference between me having the light on or off. Hasn't tried to mess with the door. There's a hiding spot directly in the ghost room, which sounds like a terrible idea to use. There is UV. That's pretty much all I need for that. The other thing... I might have counted, and that's again one of those vocal sounds they were talking about, that might have counted for um, the ghost photo, I'm hoping. I think I'm going to go try to get the Gorio dots. Yeah. Sounds like either I could get those dots by holding the camcorder in my hand and viewing it through the screen or viewing it in the truck. Viewing it in the truck will be less likely to anger the ghost. That seems like a pretty standard curb. And I'll wait here a few seconds. Although, if I was actually up there in the room, it'd be more likely to get the ghost to do something. So in the room holding the camcorder, we could make the ghost get dots faster. Doing it here is safer. And then while I'm eager to get more experience points, level up and get more items, it would not help to get myself killed while trying to do so. Come on, ghosty. Still confirming there's no ghost orb doing this, which is another bonus. Not a very active ghost at all. We did not really manage to get EMF 5. Technically, during that ghost activity, he spiked up to an EMF 5. Did he just stand that shoe up on end? <laughs> Sorry, slightly sick. Give me the dots. Give me the dots. I'm fairly certain it is a Gorio. Give me something. I'll wait here a little bit longer, but not much. I kind of want to check up on those photos to see how well they were. I'm hoping they at least, uh, I could do over a, uh, eh. that was not a three-star photo. That sucks. I guess I could go up there, take the camcorder outside. Oh, yeah, there's one more stuff around. I could take the camcorder outside of the room. And try to look for the dots inside. Threw a boot around. In front of the camera, in front of the dots. Could definitely be more active now that I'm not there, which is interesting. I don't think it really has much of a bearing considering I'm on single player. I think the only ghost that'll be less active is a shade. I'll give this one a few more seconds. I'm going to check with the book. And it's about the limit of my patience with that one. Yeah, I'm just going to do it as soon as I look at the book. Do the dots. I know it's going to do it as soon as I look at the book. There we go. Now I'll be able to see it at the corner of my eye. 
Okay, so there was ultraviolet. So it might still be on myelin. Myelin is... Oh, either way, I need an EMF5, so I don't need to worry about that. I still don't have orb. I still don't have freezing. And I still didn't get spirit box. But that might be uh, kind of a hack job that I did up there. So I might need to try that one again. Ghost riding will be myelin. That book is up there, and I don't think it's moved yet. I can run up there to grab the video camera, try to check for dots while I'm in the room, and I can look at the book as well and see what all I can see. Because at this point, it's either writing or dots, and the dots cannot be seen in person. Fun. Uh, unfortunately, that seems to be my only options. What did I get for photos? Interaction was a two-star. That wasn't an interaction, that was a ghost. And the actual interaction photo didn't count for some reason. So apparently I need to go in there and get a photo anyway. Oop, just turned off one of the lights. I guess I need to check that book when I get up there. I step away that it's gonna do dots isn't it I think I need to be there in person in order to get the dots I'm fairly certain it's a Gorio over to hunting characteristics of a ghost of the Gorio they are rarely seen from their far from their place of death a Gorio will usually show itself on camera if there is no one nearby that makes it sound like I need to see Degorio dots in here. Oh, that's helpful. Thanks, dude. I think I need to go up there and retry the spear box. Because that is the only thing that was a definitive that did not go over. Even if I did get dots right now, I might have botched the spear box job too much. Look like it turned off the hallway light. Nope, oh, hallway light's still on. That works. There we go. Let's wait for an interaction so I could do a three star photo. There's that and an air ball. Do I have time to check this real quick? Photo. It didn't count. How good of a photo does that need to be? It's not good for me. I'm almost certain we have EMF 5 too. For some reason, the writing doesn't count. What are the odds I could hide from the ghost in his own room? That's freezing temperatures. That means I know what this ghost is. at the end of the hunt. 
All right, let me walk out here in the front porch real quick. Um, that is freezing temperatures, it is violet, and it is that. It's a demon. Okay. So that settles that. Now I need to go and get some pictures. Which I'm kind of happy to do because even if I get killed, I don't need to worry about it. I don't think you really get penalized too harshly anymore for dying. Also, no, I could just leave the light on because I don't think it really affects the demons too terribly. Took a while for that to get down to freezing. Although this does mean it's capable of leaving its room if it wants to. Does that count any better? No, it does not. I, I don't know what it takes anymore to count for a decent photo. Ah, oh, trip to breaker. Wonderful. That's a hunt. All right, what do I got to do here? What's my sanity at? That hunt didn't give me anything in between to find any more information or take any photos. My sanity is above 50. I witnessed an event. I'm not going to be able to get the motion detectors. So far, I'm not going to be able to capture a three-star ghost photo. Unfortunately, there's nothing in there about uh, surviving hunt. What was the weekly tasks? Okay, Jesus, it's a good thing I didn't go inside the house. I think it tripped the breaker again. Oh, no, light's still on in there. Weekly tasks. Barely legible. Detect a ghost with a moat. Okay, stop it with that. Earn money from contracts. I think I'm only playing this one tonight. Use the cursed possession. I don't think there is one. Complete challenge mode in Camp Woodwind. I'm not on challenge mode, nor am I in Camp Woodwind. Is that the ghost? Or is that just a mirror up there? That's a mirror up there, okay. I thought that ghost was standing in the window. I was going to say, that's a little ballsy, dude. Alright, let's get up here and try this again. Turned on the light in his own room. How nice of him. Show yourself. That count? That's a three star ghost photo. I didn't see that, unfortunately. That's not good. That sounds like the end of the hunt. And the nice fellow left the breaker on. So I got my three star photo after several failed attempts. And that should be all the evidence I need. I counted for some of the photos. It's written something in our book. 
I think that was the last one that I took. Yeah, ghost riding. Okay, so that's how I needed to take it. And I, I think the boot was covering the other one. So there's two three-star photos. Ha! Imagine if there was a glitch where if you just clicked the right button, it would give you the discover to ghost type daily task. Sanity's above 50% still. It's going to take so much for me to get down below 25. I think this is just going to have to be it for this one. I am quite positive that this is a demon as we did have ultraviolet ghost writing and freezing temperatures. And it's a demon. And I got a achievement for that too. I don't have a motion to sensor. Not doing that because that's stupid. Didn't find the bone. Probably could have found some more spots to take photos, but I did not manage to do so. I literally could take a photo of the bone and I tried taking photos of other interactions, but that didn't count. I might have been way too close. I thought I was farther away for one of them. Uh, let me check something real quick. See where we're at. Yeah, yeah this is definitely going to be it for today. Uh, I think next time I do this, that was Bleasdale. I'll try the Grafton farmhouse. And it actually paid off quite well. Maybe after I do Grafton and Willow Street, I will try doing this with a public lobby. That being said, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.